Kenny, I know you love this thing, Married at First Sight. Here's the thing, Brooke, I hosted the season one wrap up <laughs> and to my surprise, two to three couples from the first year are still together today, which is incredible. I can't believe it. It's ridiculous. Yeah. When you think about the premise of this show, somebody you have never met before walks in a door and then you, you just get, get married. married right there. Let's get married. Yeah. And the marriage is real. This isn't like some fake, like test it out. No, it's, it's a real legit. marriage. So where do they find these people? Well, we're going inside the casting process. The fact that I'm getting married in a few days to a stranger, this whole thing seems irrational, but it's not irrational. I am willing to take the risk to find happiness. The matchmaking process is incredibly intense. And so the very first thing we do is hold group workshops. More than 7,000 singles apply to get married to a stranger, which sounds bizarre until you hear about the extensive matchmaking process that everybody goes through, starting with a lot of paperwork. Within that participant agreement, there is a section on prenups, which essentially says that if this doesn't work out, the um, participants will leave the marriage with what they entered into it. Showrunner Sam Dean explains that many people don't make it through the workshops, which include psych evals and background checks. But for the 60 who do, the research stage begins. Then each of the four experts conduct their own individual research. And this is an incredibly grueling process and one that um, requires hours and hours and hours of each of the participants time. The experts each conduct extensive interviews like this one. You are a neat Nick. You, everything is perfectly arranged. You know is what? this for me or is this usual? This is usual. Our psychologist gives each of the candidates an open-ended psychological questionnaire which has approximately 250 questions and if done correctly it will take you upwards of 12 hours. So what did you tell them you were looking for? <laughs> Opposite <laughs> of what happen? I've been dating. Brian and Jessica made it through and are paired with different partners on tonight's premiere. Casting is already starting for season three. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. The most terrifying part of this whole thing is is really, you know, you're, you're waiting at that uh, up at that altar and just seeing who that person is going to come down the, the aisle. Oh, you just look great, everybody here. Thank you, thank you so much. I figured with the great results that they had in last season that why not give this a shot?